uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushgrin. Today, we're going to be talking about the AKM. Uh, not the AK-47, the AKM. Now, we're going to talk about the best attachments, how you should use it, the play style, uh, things that it struggles with, and all the stats and the numbers. So you can basically make an informed decision on this weapon. Now, the AKM stands for, uh, it's basically Kalashnikov Modem. Um, it's the upgraded AK-47, and it's probably the most common and probably, if not one of the most famous guns in the world. Um, and for me, it's a weapon that has featured heavily online in my first-person shooter experience and now in PUBG Mobile. Um, I first encountered the AK when I was playing Counter-Strike. Like, it's got to be over 20 years ago, man. Like, I was, I downloaded the beta on a 56 kilobyte per second modem uh, and ran around with two-dimensional gun models and just had a great time. And the AK back then has kind of consistently been... Uh, the same gun throughout all these different games. It's a super heavy hitting AR that has very, very high recoil. Uh, and that's no different in PUBG Mobile. In PUBG Mobile, the AKM is absolutely uh, very hard to control recoil wise and absolutely suited to the very, very close quarters combat that you're going to be seeing here. Now, it's very unique in terms of ARs because, or could I also just point out, I was not expecting a car to drive up to the window here and I was screwing around with things and like, oh my God, like a car just rolls up to the window. Like, and I don't know why this guy ran away. He must've been nearly dead or something and he just ran away instead of fighting, but I should have been dead. Anyway, let's talk about <laughs> the actual statistics of the AKM. Now it's unique because it has the, well, let's, let's see him here. It has the highest base damage round of any of the ARs. 47.9, uh, not to be confused with the barrel, which is 45.9, and the 5.56 ARs, which are all 40.9. Slow bullet velocity, uh, 740 meters a second when compared to something like an M16 A4, which is 937 meters a second, uh, and slowest AR rate of fire at 0.099 seconds per round. But despite that slow rate of fire, because it's got such a high damage round, uh, the big alpha strike, it actually clears the level two vest in 0.297 seconds, under 0.3 seconds, which is faster than guns like the Vector and certainly faster than all the 5.56 ARs. But like so many of, uh, you know, PUBG Mobile's weapons, there's little things that make it special. Uh, the AK for me has the very best iron sights in the entire game. Um, if you've ever had to use iron sights on a weapon, this is just the most simplistic, straightforward version of iron sights you can find. Flat with a little V in the middle, and it makes it incredibly easy to track targets. You just, as long as you can see the target, the gun's hitting them, like over the top of the iron sights. It's not like the barrel, which is actually going to get buffed. Uh, they're changing the iron sights, which will be a huge buff for me. <laughs> Landing with the barrel, M762, and trying to shoot people uh, on the, the hot drops is torture when you're at anything like 40 or 50 meters. They just disappear behind the iron sights. What does it do well? Well, it's up close and personal. The shell velocity is important because... If you know anything about trying to spray targets at long range, one of the worst things about using... Oh, hello, there's someone there. One of the worst things about spraying targets at range when you have a slow round is that you've got to lead more and more. And when people start zigging and zagging, then no matter how far you lead, like they just never really reach the point where you fired the gun. And that's why the closer you are to the target, the more likely you are to smash with the AKM. It's also renowned for its completely random uh, ability to just smash people with headshots because the AKM has the highest damage round of any of the ARs. It also does 77 base damage to a helmet and it's one of the ARs that will actually clear someone with a single headshot uh, if they're not wearing a helmet. So early game the AKM is super devastating. If you don't have a helmet on and you're on a hot drop and you shoot someone in the head with this thing, they are instantly down. One shot, kill. Uh, even in a level three helmet, the AKM will do 49.55 damage to a level three helmet. That's half the hit point pull from an, a an AR, which is crazy. Uh, this means that the AK can sometimes bail you out of really crazy situations because 
It just has enough hitting power to get the job done, especially late game when people are running around out of blue zones and, you know, in gunfights and not at full health and taking a bit of damage here and a bit of damage there. The AK can just beat them by having more damage. The real value in this is, if you think about it, the first time you press the, the fire button, the first round that comes out is at zero, okay? It's instantaneous. So whatever gun you've got, the first moment you press that fire button, that first round fired is at zero. And having the highest damage output at zero is a valuable tool when chaos is reigning and, and people have low health pools and things are happening like that. The AKM is absolutely valuable for that. You saw that headshot. That headshot just changed the complete trajectory of this fight. That guy needs to get out of there. And even though I'm sitting here with the uh, the push, that headshot just made all the difference. The, the fact that it did so much damage meant that he didn't have time to get a heal off and he was absolutely vulnerable. What attachments should you run with the AKM? Well, let's be honest. Despite the fact that I was running a suppressor there, it was the only thing that I picked up. Um, the one attachment that you absolutely must run is the compensator. Look how good those iron sights are. I just love them. The compensator is the only uh, muzzle attachment for this gun. You can run a flash hider in a uh, hot minute just if there's nothing else left because the flash hider will actually do some degree of recoil control. It will improve recoil, but the compensator rules all. This is a close quarters weapon that has huge alpha strike and very slow shell velocity and extremely high muzzle climb. So when you're hitting this thing at anything like 30 or 40 meters, um, you really, re uh, one thing I will say, you really, really, really need to get this on the range and work on your sensitivity settings. Because if you're using 7.62 ARs uh, and the like up close and personal, then having good recoil control and being able to sit the gun down, even at 40 and 50 meters, is absolutely crucial. It's the kind of thing that can make or break an engagement. And when you're running with AKMs and barrel M762s, those kind of weapons, even Mark 14s and Grozes, being able to keep that 762 round down means you can strafe and hip fire a lot more effectively uh, than would otherwise be the case. It's it's a funny one because when the game first started, this weapon was even more popular uh, than well, way more popular than it is now. Uh, the M416 is now absolutely the dominant force. I just love these iron sights. They're the best in game. There is no doubt. They, I love these things. The M416 is the dominant force, but uh, the AKM back in the day, it was it was popularized by Mortal and uh, the Mortal, the, the Mortal loadout, uh, as I like to call it, the AKM and DP-28, uh, and then the Dirty Mortal loadout, which I call the uh, M762 and DP-28. They were incredibly popular. There were people running the AKM as a primary everywhere. And I know Mr. Weege's favorite gun was the AKM. He used to run this thing everywhere. And I will quite often run this with iron sights if I can't find a red dot rather than the holographic. The reason you should be running this with a red dot is quite simple. You're always looking to maximize your ADS speed, aim down sights, basically is what the ADS stands for. And a red dot gives you the biggest bonus to your ADS speed that you can get out of any of the scopes. Uh, you can't mount a lower rail attachment, so you can't put a thumb grip on it or anything like that, which would be ideal because a thumb grip would help the ADS even more. But if you wanna aim and you wanna get results with this, then a red dot and a compensator is all the rage. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm doing a lot of these videos for the guns just to catch up because I realized I haven't done these videos for a long, long time. And the game has changed a touch and the meta has absolutely advanced and been a bit more, you know, involved. I will will say finally in closing, if you're using an AKM, uh, you will get a lot of benefits when you're running up against people like that who are running M416s and 5.56 ARs because AKM is just better at that close quarter stuff that a 5.56 AR is. And it's the same if you're running an M762. I'm gonna do a, v a video on the barrel as well because I think it, it needs and deserves a video. But situations like this where you just want big hard hitting weaponry, AKM will get the job done for you.
Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Love your work. As always, stay safe on the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.